All right, time for meal number one. It is a holiday weekend, and I don't think you can do a holiday weekend without some form of barbecue. So this is gonna be my macro-friendly version, semi-macro friendly. I have a nine pound pork Boston butt roast bone in um, roast here. Uh, this was on sale at HEB, so that is a dang good deal. That's like less than a dollar a pound, folks. Um, the macros on this, and I'm sure to look at this before I cut it, are not bad. 210 grams, or 210 calories, 13 grams fat, zero carb, 21 grams of protein. Now, I probably will have one taco, so that's a little high in fat, so I'm gonna have to uh, adjust my peanut butter intake for the day. I topped this with probably about a third, because this I had already used some, and now it's down to a half. So I'd say a third of this bottle. That's a ton, but whatever. Um, zero, zero, zero. This is just a Texas barbecue seasoning. I wish you could smell it because it is delicious. And it is salt, sugar, paprika, celery, mustard, garlic, onion, and some smoke flavor. That's what makes it smell so good. I literally just put it on top and then like kind of rubbed it down. I put my roast fat side up. I don't know why. I think someone told me you're supposed to do it the other way, but that's the way I cook it and that's the way I like it. I have an oven preheated to 275. I am gonna put it in here and it is literally just gonna sit in there for probably six to eight hours. Um, so yeah, I'll let you know when this one's done. Okay, I'm taking a break from the holiday fun and I'm gonna check on my slow roasted pork. So it has been in here, let's see, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hours. Ooh, ah, that looks yummy. I'm having a little bit of a family swimming time. And this has been in for, oh man, do you see that? Look at that, holy schmoly. It is just flaking, folks. That looks done to me. So this is a really simple, man, that looks awesome. Let's try a little small piece. Now remember, this has a little bit of fat, but I didn't add any to it. Okay, let me see that. Make sure it's done. That looks perfect though. So, oh man. Mmm. Man. Oh man. I'm actually really mad I just tried that. Because, mmm. That is good. Holy moly. Okay, so that is done. I'm gonna take it out of the oven. I'm going to let it sit for probably 10 minutes, then come back in, flake it up real nice so it's like shredded uh, pulled pork tacos. So yum. The next meal I'm gonna make is what I'm calling blue cheese chicken. Oh my gosh, it just scratched my eye and I had jalapeno juice on it. Oh my gosh, my eye's on fire. Holy moly. Okay, oh. um, okay, blue cheese chicken, yay. So I put um, almost two full pounds of frozen chicken. I use the Market Pantry garlic herb. Um, you obviously can use whatever, that's just the one I chose. Macros are three grams fat, two gram carb, 22 gram protein for four ounces. Um, so this is actually seven servings because I found this little teeny piece and then these two small pieces. I'm then going to put in seven servings of Bolt House Farms Chunky Blue Cheese. I found this on YouTube, um, so I decided to try it. Tasted pretty good from what I tested. So one serving is two tablespoons, which is 30 grams, and it's 2.5 grams fat, one gram carb, two gram protein. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. So this is all zeroed out. I take this, turn it on, put the thing on top, and then there's a ZT. You push the ZT and that zeroes it out. Let me just show you. Well, let me just show you real life. IRL, people. Okay, so it turns on, and I do this. This is how I measure my chicken and anything that I'm doing. Stick it on. 
Wow, four grams, four pounds, okay? Boom, zero. Now it's at zero. So I've already measured six servings of the blue cheese in here. One serving is 30 grams, okay? See serving size, you see that? Serving size, two tablespoons, 30 grams. So I'm gonna put this to units. So right there it says ounces. Now it turned to grams. Well, it's at one. I don't want it at one, I want it at zero. Now I'm gonna measure out 30 grams. See if I can do this. Dang, so close. It's always so fun to try and get it right on the money. Uh oh. Yay! Okay. So this now has seven grams of seven servings of chicken and seven servings of the blue cheese. So you can obviously just do seven times 30 to figure out how much you need or just do it 30, zeroed out, 30, zeroed out, 30, zeroed out. Okay, this is going to go in a preheated oven um, for 350 degrees for one hour. When it comes out, I'm gonna add two servings of this ready rice, which I made last week. So this whole thing is two servings, but I'm gonna split it into seven servings. So I'm gonna do, I did the backwards macros on this whole meal, and the whole blue cheese chicken meal with the rice is gonna be 14 grams carbs, nine grams fat, 27 grams protein. Um, oh, and you need to um, spray your pan with cooking spray. This is a, this came out awesome. I'm very happy with this meal. So I give those Bolt House dressings two thumbs up, I might buy a couple of more and, and just trap some other different recipes, but if you guys see those, buy them. I found mine in the area that sells like the pre-packaged vegetables, so it was actually refrigerated. And again, let me show you that container. So here it is. They had tons and tons of flavors. This was a, this All was right. A, the next meal I'm gonna make is a French toast. So I have poured four ounces of egg whites into a blender bottle. I'm gonna use one scoop. Of, I'm using Cellucor s'mores. I am going to put whoops, not jalapeno salt. I'm gonna put a crap ton of cinnamon. So this one is the fiesta, let's see. Like a lot of cinnamon. Can you all see it? Whoops, maybe that's a little too much cinnamon. That's okay, I like cinnamon. Um, and a teeny tiny bit now, this is why I have the Truvia out. Can you, whoops, there we go. No, that's right. I don't have cut down that cinnamon taste. I keep the Truvia out in case I make a mistake. Okay, and that should put it to, you can't really tell, um, almost the eight ounce mark. I'm gonna fill the remaining up until it hits just above that eight ounce mark. Now I'm going to shake this up and then pour it into my pan. Mixed it all up and there's little marshmallow bits in there because this is the s'mores and I'm putting, I'm gonna put a total of four slices of the Sara Lee Delightful Bread and I just let that set for a second. I took the remaining Bread, suck it on here. Poured the remaining liquid on just what it is. I mean, on just empty pieces, so it's just holding it in there. Now I'm gonna just stick it in here with my green beans. All right, this is kind of heavy, so whoa. All right, we are gonna let that bake at 425 for about three minutes. So I better set the timer. Then I'm gonna come back and check it. If they seem like they've set, I will flip them around, bake for another three minutes, and this is the final product. I've already been munching on this one. You guys are not ready for this. This is so exciting. Now my whipped cream, oh, I just spilled the beans. My whipped cream just fell off. But I topped it with one serving of the fat-free Ready Whip, like one teaspoon of chocolate PB2, and then I'm gonna put Walden Farm. So for four slices, and again, I've already eaten one slice, so that's why you only see three here. Four slices with the Ready Whip, with two teaspoons of this, with, you know, I don't know, a fourth a cup of Walden Farms. Your macros on this are 4.5 grams fat, 
33 grams carbs and 42 grams of protein. That is awesome. So for me, that's probably even too much for a serving. So I'm probably just gonna eat two of these for a day or at least in the morning and maybe two at night, we'll see. So again, that is a super awesome macro-friendly French toast. Wah, wah. Man, I'm so excited about these, yay! All right, my next meal is a pretty simple meal like all my meals. <laughs> this is something that everyone in my family enjoys. I can't remember if I've done a video on this before. I feel like I have, but I couldn't find it, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you this. Basically, I have my slow cooker turned to low. I spray it with Pam. I don't use the coconut spray in this because uh, it sometimes will stick to that. So I bought two of these turkey breast tenderloin. They have pork ones. The teriyaki one's really good, but I couldn't find it today, so I got that. This is six servings, so that's gonna make a total of 12 servings. It's one gram of fat, three gram of carb, 20 gram of protein, and 100 calories per serving. That is a pretty dang good thing. So you could eat all of these for 12 grams of fat. Not bad, huh? Um, anyways, I just plop them in there and I'll put the lid on and I pretty much just let it set for, I'd say about five to six hours. Okay, this is done. Woo! I just took my tongs and if I can flake it easily, it's done. That's about it, folks. Um, I've turned it off and now I'm just gonna let it set for about 10 minutes before I take it out. That was in there actually five hours, so I just monitor it. When it looks done, it's done. I mean, there's not much to it. My next meal is going to be something that both Adam, uh, the girls and I all can eat. So I'm gonna make um, a macro-friendly version of Sloppy Joe's. So I found this McCormick Sloppy Joe's mix. Um, macros are decent. Three grams of carbs for, per serving. And there's eight servings in this. This is the Honeysuckle White 97 Fat Free. I got these at Walmart. Macros are pretty good. Zero carb, so we'll see. This has a little bit higher fat, but it's not like a ton of fat. It's not that much. Then I'm gonna use two cans of this tomato sauce, no salt added. This whole can is gonna be add another five grams of carb per serving, but that's pretty much it. I'm gonna serve this probably with broccoli and then the girls and Adam can put this on some like Hawaiian rolls. Uh, we'll see, I'm not quite sure. Anyways, I'm gonna brown this up, then I'm just gonna add my seasoning and then let it set to soak up the flavor. This, the final product is 32 gram protein, five gram carb, five gram fat. I am- You're hungry. You're hungry? Yeah. Okay, let me finish this. And then you can eat this. I am browning up just one onion for Adam and I. I'm gonna take out two servings for the girls and then I'll dump the onions in here and there are your healthy version Sloppy Joe. And here's my little rock band girl. Maren, play a song for me. Can you dance? Maren. Oh, this hey guys, it is Sunday night, I was putting together my video and I realized that I somehow deleted the video of like the final overview. So rather than take everything out of the refrigerator and show it to you, I just figured I'd tell you um, the plan for this week's meal because I think a few people will probably put two and two together and realize I don't have a ton of carbs in this meal and I don't. And the reason why is because I made really poor choices on Monday and Tuesday of this week, my, I had to be honest with my coach, tell him what happened, and rather than doing a ton of cardio, he typically just cups out carbs for me for about four to five days. That's the way my body works, where if I make really poor choices, and in this particular instance, for two days straight, I some sometimes I doubled, and even on one day, I tripled the amount of carbs that I was supposed to be. Why do I pay my coach? So he can tell me what to do. That is this week's prep. Um, next week will probably be a similar prep. 
but it'll just depend on what my weight does and what my coach tells me that I need to do. So I hope this was super helpful for you guys. Sharing is caring, people. So did you like that? <laughs> It is. Sharing is caring. I'm sharing all my stuff, so you guys should get on that. Y'all have a great week. I think I just said that. You said day in the life of. I thought you were talking about food. No, this is the food one. Do you want to say anything to my YouTubers? You should definitely like my wife because she's the best. That's not funny. They don't want to hear that. What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. You know who Monica it is. Monica Mackey. <laughs> okay, have a good night, guys. Bye.